I was born in Essex Road, Islington. Mm. Am I a Londoner? I don't know. I was a, 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 I'm certainly an Englishman. People go on to me about um, you know, this country and now. Who's country? country? Who's country? Who's country? I don't know. My my name is uh, my 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 name is Jennings, but I don't know where I'm from. My grandfather's name is Gustavus Holstitch Jennings. My great grandfather's name is Gustavus Holstitch Jennings. And um, I've got no idea where I'm from. Most people don't have an idea where they're from in this little island that we call the centre of the world. You know, they, they don't have that. In the ruts, I wasn't that political. I, um, no. You know, I, I've always just um, kind of had a laugh for you. In the ruts, we were having a laugh. But um, there were certain issues at the time that needed dealing with. Um, cast your mind back, people, we probably won't even know this, but, uh, you know, 76, 75, 76, it was a big. Um, British movement, well, pre-British movement, so it was a National Front thing. You used to get loads of graffiti, NF, um, John Terry was getting in, you know, there was a scare, it's not new people, it was like, um, there was a scare that they weren't going to get elected, you know, so people rallied round. We did the two anti-Nazi uh, anti League things with Mr. Roots, we did two Rock Against Racism things with Mr. Roots, two or three, then we did the Rock Against Racism tour. It was a black group and a white group travelling up, a young punk group, which was us. And at the beginning, you know, we'd go to share a dressing room and they'd be playing dominoes down one end and we'd be up the other end and never the twain sort of met. But then it, it, uh, it came like that. And then they they became, they, I don't know whether they were rassed at the time, but they were kind of became more Bible. And we used to go to all the punks and they'd be reading from the Bible and it'd be a big fucking weed on the table. It was unity in the true sense of the word. And then we stopped, we both of us, Mr. Yan and us, stopped doing, using the banner um, and just said, well look, it's fucking obvious, we used to jam it, we, we used to cross headline and then we jam at the end, all of us. Tony from um, Mr. Beersy from uh, Misty taught me how to play reggae bass, you know. Chris Bolton, who was very uh, important in that Rock and Gets Racing thing. Not that he did Rock Against Racing, but he did all, he was Misty's manager or one of them. He came down and he went for a drink, a nice story, and went to the Ephra in Brixton, which is a lovely pub. Go there. And it was beautiful music. And, um, living in the love of the common people come. Living in the love of the common people. Nicky Thomas. And he doesn't drink, but we're sitting there. And uh, I said, I come to the, he said, oh, I love this song. I said, come to the bar with me. I went to the bar and we were there and, I, and he said, sexy. We fought for this. We're in a black pub, and it's white and black. There was no question of white and black. Playing black music that we loved, because we were both like, you know, skanking away in the fucking early 70s. Jam, and this is, you know, um, not a black-white thing, is very, very similar to what we have with Misty, is that it's very, very natural. It's very, it's very black and white without fucking having any, um, any discrimination, which is really, basically what it's about. I have been with this lot for a lot while. I come and I go, I'm a bit like a, a consultant really now. It's <laughs> quite strange and I'm, I'm sort of pr quite proud that Larry um, and Jake and the rest of the band, but mainly, you know, the, the writers kind of um, uh, 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 value, value my opinion. It's not a, a thing of like, oh, he fucking did rock against racism, so he's all right. It's, it's very much about what you've got to offer now, you know, so that's fine. That keeps me on my toes keeps them on their toes, and that's good, because we all get lazy, you know. And uh, we all think that uh, we, we fought the fight then and it was all over, but it, it fucking isn't, you know, it's never over. And I met Larry, I think he was on acid, I think I was probably, it was a brave day, so quite early on. And um, yeah, he, he came up and started talking, and for some reason we ended up, at that time we had the Larry Love Show Band, which I suppose has become gone on to be Alabama Free Acoustic, but he used to call it something different, now he loves Chubbin. So, it, it, uh, he kind of, he probably put it different, but he said, look, go, you know, you are fucking do anything, go and play bass for me, um, do some things. So we did. Just talking about how we met, Larry. And uh, so he said, come and fucking play bass, you ain't doing anything. And I said, he said, do you know Bank Robber? And I said, well, I do. And uh, we played some pub, um, I think it was the Queen, actually. In Brixton, and um, I just launched into Bank Robber and he did it, and then it was on. So I joined Larry Love. Then, about that time, we were doing, um, he was playing, they were doing a gig at Mass. He said, just come along and play. 
And uh, my wife, Susie, was pregnant with Curly, so that's, she's nine now, so that's that, that long ago. Um, we went to, and I thought it would be a good idea, her, Susie was a little bit late, pregnancy, or as they say late, we thought the bass vibration of mass might like, bring the <laughs> my little girl Pearly on. And so she came for the bass vibe. And uh, when I arrived at the sound check, I'd met her with the band, but they said, well, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm playing. They said, well, what are you going to play? And I said, well, I don't know. I said to Larry, what am I going to play? He said, just play anything you want. <laughs> and so all the bass was on tape and everything, and I just plugged in and played uh, over the stuff, and that was the beginning of the chaos. Things like hostage with tenor fly and stuff like that. Very proud to be involved in that because it's it's a, it's the new thing forward, you know. I meet those people and um, I talk to them and they talk to me and it's like respect. It ain't fucking bullshit. It's just like uh, they don't know what I've done. It's just the way you carry yourself. I don't they really know what they've done. It's just the way you carry yourself. It's very important. I'm playing reggae bass, really. You know, when I do flag, I'm it's great. It's, I'm doing Shine Eye Gal, you know, from, uh, you know, it's Robbie Shakespeare. <laughs> it's what I'm doing. And uh, it fits in, you know. And that's uh, that. So uh, they, they do have that big sub end, you know. It's, it's great. It's a great job for me. They are quite political. They are quite punk. Um, uh, 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 I always, uh, I said in one interview, they're the last kind of punk band in a way, because they don't really give a fuck. You don't know where you're going to get on stage. Sometimes it's brilliant, sometimes it's rubbish. I'm sure that people have witnessed that. I've been appointed as like MD. It doesn't really mean anything, a yeah, musical director, but it's, I'm not, because you can't control. It's like having, uh, you know, eight chaos horses, nine chaos. Um, tonight was great. Though. Um, it does feel good, and it'll get better from now on, and uh, it's, it's important. Uh, the way the, this, this particular album and some of them are put together is like there's many guests, many different people playing. Some of the band didn't play on some of the tracks and they haven't even heard them. And I say to them, you must make it your own now because it's a live version. It's, it's totally different. Otherwise, you might as well put tape on, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you, you know, someone like D. Wayne, you know, I might print out some lyrics for him because we've chopped up his lyrics and used bits of his rant. But the thing is, he's, it's... You know, you can't, you can't, you can't control him. You know, oh, you're coming in the wrong place. I mean, it's like, you know, that's my job, coming in the right place. You can't control him, and thank God for that.